Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. Today with this video, I am going to start a new series on Omni Studio. So if you are new to Salesforce or already working as a developer or as an admin and you want to learn Velocity or Omni Studio, then this video series will be very helpful for you because in this series we are going to cover each topic in brief with practical examples in future videos. So please watch this video series till the end because I am sure if you will complete this video series then you will be comfortable to working on it and this will be very helpful for you in certifications also. Okay. So today in this video we are going to cover how to get started with Omni Studio with a brief discussion and its features and advantages. So let's take a look of today's agenda. So we will discuss what is Velocity, what is Salesforce Industries, what all business domains are covered by Salesforce Industries and what is Omni Studio and how to get started with Omni Studio and how we can create org for Omni Studio because our normal uh, Salesforce org and playgrounds are does not contain Velocity package so over there we cannot work on Omni Studio. So for that we need to create new org. So I will show you in this video how you can create your new org. Also we will discuss about Omni Studio architecture, advantages of using Omni Studio and what all certificates are available in Omni Studio. So let's start with what is Velocity. So before going to discuss about what is Velocity. Let's discuss about the real time problem of a business and how Velocity cater that solution. As you know Salesforce has a generic CRM software that fulfill almost all requirements for sales for CRM. But when we talk about different industries like communication, media, insurance and many others, they have their unique business processes and requirements. So when they are going to use Salesforce. In that case, they require lots of custom implementation and development on top of Salesforce. That is not cost efficient and it also takes time for customization and sometimes risky because it in that case you have to go to an implementation partner and get it implemented. To understand it better, let's take an example. Let's say there are three companies in communication industry A, B and C and A started using Salesforce. Now they will get a generic Salesforce software that may not be fulfilled their full requirement. So for that they will identify what all changes they need to make it as per their industry specific and after identifying the requirement they will find a implementation partner who can implement changes for them. This process may be time consuming and in sometimes costly as well. And now again if B is going to use Salesforce and uh, they are uh, both in the communication industry. So the uh, B will also find the similar kind of challenges over there. So they will also identify their changes and they will also uh, go to implementation partner and get it implemented. And C also needs to uh, follow the same thing. So this was the biggest problem like when um, different industries are going to use the generic Salesforce software. In that case they need to work on that for uh, to do many customizations over there. Now we will discuss about Velocity. Velocity is a company that is founded in 2014 and Velocity noticed this business problem and started working to implement industry specific solutions and bundled those solutions into packages which can be installed into any Salesforce org. So we can say Velocity created multiple industry specific packages I means pre-built solutions on top of Salesforce platform and those are designed to solve the complete needs for particular industry. So customers get started their application quickly and with less customization. Now if we talk about our previous example of ABC company. After purchasing their Salesforce software, they can install Velocity managed package on top of that from the app exchange. 
and all the industry specific requirement will uh, already pre built in that velocity package so they can easily get started their work so this is how velocity is very helpful for different industries because they already have implemented industry specific requirements and bundled them into the packages and those packages can be installed into salesforce org okay and velocity is de natively designed on salesforce platform and salesforce also have built in customization tools with the help of then we can do further customizations we will discuss those tools in a uh, later part of this video okay now next thing is what is salesforce industries in 2020 salesforce acquired velocity and rebranded it to the salesforce industries so we can say velocity is known as salesforce industries now this was a very good deal for salesforce because now uh, salesforce have many industry specific solutions and salesforce expand their business in many other industries also okay now uh, discuss about what what all business domains are covered by salesforce industries uh, you can see uh, salesforce has pre-built solutions for many industries like finance services healthcare and life sciences communication consumer goods public sector retail manufacturing media transformation and hospitality automotives energy and utility education non profit and government and i'm sure in future we will see more industries um, are covered by salesforce okay now next one is what is omni studio so we can say omni studio is low code point and click tool that is built on top of salesforce platform and part of velocity package omni studio offers many customization features like flex card omni script integration procedures data adapters for end to end development with the help of these tools we can create ui and back end logics by using only point and click tools without writing single line of code with the help of these tools we can implement any complex requirements in salesforce like we can design any complex ui and we can write any complex logics uh, with the help of these tools in Omni Studio only with point and clicks. So, if you are not from programming background and want to work on Omni Studio, then you can also work on this, though it will be a bit difficult for you in initial days. But if you have basic programming knowledge, then you can easily start working on this. Okay. And whatever component you have created with the help of Omni Studio, you can use those components in internally Salesforce, like on App Builder pages, and externally also, like on communities, also you can use those components. Okay. Now, next one is how to get started with Omni Studio. So, as of now, uh, we do not have much content on uh, content publicly. To learn about Omni Studio, but you can refer this trailhead module. After completing this module, you will get basic idea about this. And for advanced learning, you can refer my videos because in my video series, I will cover a very advanced topics that you will use in day to day life. And I will also paste this link in uh, YouTube description so you can take it from there okay and now um, as i said you in introduction like your uh, regular orgs or playgrounds uh, will not work for omni studio because omni studio is a part of velocity package and those orgs does not contain velocity package so to create a org that uh, contains omni studio we need to request uh, we need to raise a request to the salesforce so after that they will create a org to us and we will get our credentials over the mail so this is the link basically uh, from there we can uh, submit a request and also I will paste this uh, this link to the description so you can take it from there so let me click on this okay 
this is the registration form that we need to fill to get Omni Studio Org. You can select the uh, whatever is the form you want. So I'm selecting the letter form here. Okay. After uh, filling all the details, you can click on sign up. So here you can see like uh, we are getting message. Please check your email to confirm uh, your new account. So after some time, you will get an email over there. You will get the details how you can log in in uh, your new Salesforce org. So let me open my Gmail account also. So to keep the video short, I'm um, stopping the recording for now and i will restart it once i get the mail now i have logged in into my gmail account and you can see i have received an email so it took around uh, four to five minutes in your case also like it can take few minutes so please wait for that and uh, now let me open this email so over here you, you will see a button verify account so let me click on this so now it will ask for um, change password so let me create my password over here And let me click on change password. So, this is how you can create an org for Omni Studio. Now, let me come back to my PPT and discuss. Further. Next thing we have Omni Studio architecture. So you can say Omni Studio is three layered architecture which covers digital experience, service management, and developer experience. Digital experience completely deals with user interface, like whatever we want to show to the user that we can build on use, uh, digital experience. We can say it is completely front end layer so in which we can design what data we want to show to the user and what inputs we want to take from the user and it is divided into two parts flex cards and omni scripts so when we have a requirement where we only need to show data and we do not have to take input from user in that case we should use flex cards and if you have a requirement where you need to take inputs from the user or you want to show a guided path to the user or you want to show the multiple steps to the user like we used to see in the checkout pages like after cart item selection on next page we ask for the address and after that we ask for the payment and at last we show the receipt of the order so if you have uh, such kind of requirement in that case you should use omni scripts and also with the help of OmniScript, you can generate PDFs and you can do almost anything in OmniScripts. So we can say this is a very important tool when we are working on Omni Studio. And if you found a requirement that cannot be implemented by predefined options in OmniScripts and FlexCards both, in that case, you can implement that requirement using Lightning Web Components, LWC and you can call those components into Omni scripts and flex cards as this is an introduction section but in my future videos i will show you all these things in practical okay now next is service management we can say this is a kind of business layer in which we can write our own backend logics like fetching the data saving the data and we can also do calculation on the data like whatever operations we want to perform to show the data on UI 
and to shave the data into the database we can perform those operations into service management again this is also mainly divided into two parts integration procedures and data raptors if we talk about data raptors then we can say if you want to communicate with salesforce database like if you want to read update and edit the data into salesforce database in that case we will use data raptors we cannot delete data with the help of data raptors for that we used to take help from integration procedures and omni scripts so there are uh, we have majorly four kind of data raptors that i will cover in uh, future videos but for now in nutshell we can say if you want to communicate with salesforce database then we should use a uh, data raptors now the next is integration procedures so as you can see in this icon of integration procedures like in a single integration procedure you can perform multiple operations like you can fetch data from external system you can process those data you can save those data into database and you can also return those data to the flex card and omni scripts so we can say integration procedures acts like apex class as like in apex class we can have multiple methods to perform multiple operations in integration procedure also we can have multiple actions to perform multiple operations so in that cell we can say in a single server call if you want to perform multiple operations in that case we should use integration procedures and if you want to use integration procedures in that case then we have to call server individually for each and every operation like calling the external system transforming the data saving the data into salesforce database and returning back to the omni script so if you want to perform multiple operations on a single server call then we should use integration procedures and it will reduce our server calls so we can consider our integration procedures as a apex class in which we can have multiple methods and we can consider data raptors as soql and dml okay now next we have developer experience in which we have idx build tool and idx workbench we generally use these tools to deploy our omni studio components like omni script flex card integration procedures and data raptors next we have advantages of using omni studio now the very first advantage is this is a point and click configuration tool so we do not have to write code over here and second is require no or less programming knowledge so if you do not have prior coding knowledge in that case also you can work on omni studio and in omni studio we can work with multiple data sources like salesforce database apex classes and apis like we can fetch data from web apis also in omni studio and whatever components we created uh, from omni studio we can use those components in community and app builder pages and also we can call our lwc components into omni studio in flex cards and omni scripts and we can say like this is a point and click tool so we can develop our requirements quickly okay next we have omni studio demo in which i will show you each and every component and tools that we have discussed in action but i will cover this part in next video because i don't want to make this video more lengthy so in next video i will cover each and every tool in brief over there okay next we have omni studio certificates or we can say velocity certificates so as of now we have three certificates with omni studio or velocity the first is omni studio developer then omni studio consultant and industry cpq developer so in this series mostly we will cover omni studio developer and omni studio consultant cpq we will cover in another series of videos okay so i think that's it for this video i hope this video helped you to understand basics about salesforce industries and omni studio and if you have any question and suggestion then please do let me know in the comments i will definitely try to reply over there and in future videos of this series i will cover each and every topic in brief so please do subscribe my youtube channel and i will see you in the next video thank you